The function of a lubricant is basically to prevent friction and wear, right? So modern agricultural equipment, you know, they're under heavy loads, the applications that they that, that they use in, and having precision lubricants or high quality lubricants, it assists in having a longer equipment life um, as well as preventing wear. And how the digital part of things fall into play is if you look at things like oil analysis, condition monitoring, those type of things, that's how you sort of extend the life of the lubricant and also extend the life of the equipment. When it comes to uh, condition monitoring, you, um, you know, that's basically looking at the equipment and how the equipment operates um, and making sure that they operate efficiently, right? So you've got the lubricants that are being analyzed, the user oil that's being analyzed. Then you've got sort of digi digital sort of tools to, um, to assist to look at those oil analysis results and those types of things, right? Um, so that, again, that's more for um, making sure that the equipment's efficient. But at the same time, you've got precision lubricants where you can use lower viscosity oils. Um, lower viscosity oils means less friction. Less friction means less resistance, and that's how you can save fuel as well. And also, if your equipment is more efficient, um, your fuel costs are, are lower as well. There's various ways. Um, on the one end, if you just look at the actual uh, ordering of lubricants, we've got um, you know online ordering tools um, where customers can order order online. They can get invoices and all those type of things online as well. Um, there's lubrication recommendations that are available online. Um, your, earlier I spoke about the condition monitoring. Um, you can get uh, your oil analysis results online just to monitor the, um, the equipment performance and those type of things. Um, so, so yeah, there's, there's lots of condition monitoring equipment and also making it easier for the customer to purchase the lubricants at the, at the end of the day. So there's various aspects you look at, um, you know, depending on the application, you know, if it's an engine, you look at uh, um, is it the right specification firstly for the particular uh, for the particular engine? Um, does it have all the relevant properties like anti antioxidants, uh, detergents, dispersants, all the various additives that you have uh, in a lubricant? Um, does it meet the uh, manufacturer's specifications? Um, you know those are important. Um, and you know the, the actual performance of the lubricant. There's lots of various standards, um, industry standards that that a, a lubricant needs to meet. And, and you have to make sure that it meets all those particular standards.